Anong pinagkaiba ng joint at disjoint set? Tara't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin yung araw. So for today, pag-uusapan naman natin anong pinagkaiba ng joint set sa disjoint set. So let's talk about joint set versus disjoint set. Let's start this by defining ano nga ba si joint set. Ayan. So let's get to know first joint set. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng joint set? Okay, ang joint set, two sets are said to be joint set if they have at least one common element. Ayan. So, examples. Set A tapos set B. Set A have an element of C, D, and E. And set B have an element of A, B, and C. So, sabi natin sa joint set, magiging joint set lang yung dalawang set kung meron silang at least isang parehong element. At least isang parehong element. Tapos sinabi at least kahit isa lang. Pero hindi naman sinabing dapat isa lang. Ang sabi niya, kahit isa lang. Ibig sabihin, kahit isa, pwede rin magdalawa, magtatlo, magapat. One ang minimum, tapos pwede mas marami pa. So, ayun ang ibig sabihin ng at least. At least one common element. So, let's check. Paano ito naging joint set? Ayan. So, sabi, kailangan kahit isa lang, meron silang parehong elements. So, let's check A and B. Anong elements ng set A? C, D, E is elements ng set B, I, A, B, C. So, pareho silang may C. Diba? So, meron silang isang common. Kaya ito naging joint set. Ganun lang po kasimple ang joint set. Ayan. So, ito naman. So, dito, sa topic natin yung joint set tapos this joint set, titignan mo lang kung may pareho na elements. Ganun lang. Kung may pareho, kaya walang pareho. So, let's check para sa joint set. So, sabi kahit isa lang pareho, okay na sa akin. Sabi ni joint set. So, 2, 4, 6. Ayan. So, may 6. Parehong may 6. So, check tayo doon. Parehong may 8. So, check din tayo doon. Parehong may 10. So, check tayo dyan. So, since hindi naman sinabing isa lang ang kailangan ko, hindi. Sabi niya, kahit isa, pero pwede mas sobra pa sa isa. So, eto kasi tatlo ang parehong elements ng C sa kanang D. So, joint set pa rin siya. Ayan. Joint set yan kasi meron silang parehong elements. Ayan. And lastly, eto. O, oh, ayan. Ito nga parehong-pareho. So, lahat ng elements ay meron yung kabila, yung isa e kayong F. Anong ang tawag dito? Anong klaseng set ito? Equal or equivalent? Pareho. Ayan. Equal siya at the same time equivalent din. Okay. Equal kasi parehong-pareho. Equivalent kasi parehong apat yung elements sa loob. Ni E sa kanya F. Ayan. Oh, but we are not talking about equivalent tapos equal, disjoint tapos disjoint set ang pinag-uusapan natin. Now, joint yan, kasi nga, meron sila or meron itong dalawa na common elements. Yung nga, common yung 3, common yung 6, common yung 9, common yung 12. So, that made this pair of set na joint set. Ayan. So, ganun lang po kasimple ang joint set. Ayan. So, this joint set naman tayo, ito opposite lang ni joint set. Kung si joint set, kahit isa lang daw gusto niya, basta meron isang pareho, Si disjoint set, ayaw niya kahit isa. Two sets are said to be disjoint set if they have no elements in common. Ayan. So, nakakaps lock ang no. Hindi da. Wala. Wala dapat ni isang pareho sa kanilang elements. So, let's have examples. Ayan. So, set A, A, B, C. Set B, J, K, L. So, check natin yung mga elements. Walang A yung kabila. Walang B yung kabila. Walang C yung kabila. Wala ding J doon, walang K doon, walang L doon. So, definitely wala itong kahit isang pareho. So, this made this pair of set na disjoint kasi wala silang parehong element. Ganun lang po kasimple. So, again, for our topic for today, just check kung may pareho o wala. Yun lang ang idea ng joint sa kanang disjoint. So, another, eto rin. Set C and D. So, 2, walang 2 doon, walang 4 doon, walang 6 doon, walang 8 doon. 
Ayan. So, wala din namang 5 dito. Walang 10, walang 15. So, therefore, disjoint ito. Kasi wala ni isang pareho. Magkakaiba lahat ng elements. And this one, ato ay example din ng disjoint. Walang 1, walang 2, walang 3, walang 4, walang 5, walang pareho. Ibig sabihin, disjoint set. Ayan. So, very simple. Ganun lang po ang disjoint tapos joint set. So, let me repeat first. Kapag sinabing joint set, kailangan kahit isa lang may pareho sila. Yun lang ang check natin lagi. Kapag disjoint set, kailangan wala talaga. Totally, wala kang makitang parehong element. Ayan. So, I hope it's clear because we are going to have our humor drill with a twist again. Ayan. So, this time, pipili tayo between joint set and disjoint set. So, kapag feeling mo yung given na pair of set ay joint set, just clap once when I say go or now. So, one clap yon. Tapos, disjoint set naman, two claps kapag yun ang napili mo or yun, sa tingin mo ang sagot. Ayan, then I'll show you the given. So, let's start with number one. Alright, so may dalawang set, set X, M, and O, set Y, P, Q, R. Now, saan siya kabilang? Joint or disjoint? I po, I'll pause for 5 seconds, then think about that. Then after 5 seconds, I'll ask you to clap once or twice. Alright, go. Alright, time's up, so clap now. Alright, sige nga. Let's see how you did. So, eto. May M ba sa Y? Wala. May N? Wala. May O? Wala. So, wala silang kahit isang pareho. At saan yon magpo-fall? Sa disjoint. ba? So, ibig sabihin, disjoint ang sagot. So, dapat nag-two claps tayo. Ayan. Congratulations for those who did two claps. Let's have another one. C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10. And D, may isa lang siyang element na 1. Ayan. So, saan siya kabilang? Is it joint set or disjoint set? Your 5 seconds starts now. Alright. So, let me hear your clap. Go. Alright, sige, let's see. So, eto, sabi natin joint dapat merong pareho, disjoint wala. So, eto, may pareho, parehong may one. So, saan siya magpo-fall? Kay joint set. So, joint yan. So, joint itong pair of set natin na meron. Ayan. So, congratulations dun sa nag-clap once. Let's have number three, C and D. Ayan, negative three, negative one, one and three. Si D, negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. Ayan. So, ano kaya? Saan siya magpo-fall? Is it joint set or disjoint set? Your 5 seconds starts now. Alright. So, let me hear your clap. Go. Alright. So, get check natin. So, sabi natin ang joint, kailangan may pareho. Si disjoint, wala. So, eto parehong-pareho. ba Equal set tapos equivalent set. So, ibig sabihin, since pareho lahat, pareho may negative 3, may negative 1, may 1, may 3. So, joint set yan. Kasi may pareho sila. Ayan. So, again, isa pa. Ayan. C and D. Negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. So, set D ay negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. Ayan. So, saan siya magpo-fall? Is it under joint set or disjoint set? Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let me hear your clap. Go. Alright, so get. Check natin kung ano kaya ito. Negative 3, may negative 3 ba doon? Wala. May negative 1 ba dito? Wala. May 1 ba dito? Wala. May 3 ba doon? Wala. So, wala silang pareho kahit isa. Saan ngayon magpo-fall kapag ganun ang description? Disjoint. So, this is an example of disjoint set. Last one. 10, 20, 30, 40, set B. Have an element of 10, 100, and 1,000. So, alin siya dyan? Is it under joint or disjoint? So, your 5 seconds starts now.
Alright, time's up. So let's check your answer. Let me hear you clap pa lang. Go. Ayan. So check natin. Kung may pareho o wala. May pareho silang 10. Yes. So therefore, kahit hindi ko na nga i-check yung iba, basta may pareho silang isa, automatic siya ay joint set. Ayan. So, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope natuto ka ngayong araw. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos na i-upload natin dito sa you More PH. And please don't forget to share this to your friends and to your classmates who needs this lesson the most as well. And don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag, you more PH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.